Hello everyone. Today's date is March 25th. It is approximately 5.45 p.m. We can say sometime between the hours of 5.30 and 6 p.m. This is the international border crossing, the Blue Water Bridges. And this is the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol entrance to the Blue Water Bridge. The plaza and employee and public parking. says open to the public. Parking lot under surveillance. So they have a camera just like me. Right there. Now I don't see any um oh, there's an M dot vehicle. That's a public thing. Michigan Department of Transportation. No contraband, no private information clearly visible to the public. License plate 0034886, state government. A box of, uh, got some cans to take back for gas money so they can leave them vehicles running the way that they do. Let's see, that's the only public uh, vehicle that I see currently. I don't. I know they're employee parkings and it's a public parking, but again, I mean, if you work for the government, I'm not going to go look in your private car just because it's in a public parking spot, okay? Um, if you pull up on me in your private vehicle, it's a different story, okay? There are rules that we have to follow. We're going to follow all the rules and obey all the laws. That looks like a cruiser, but I don't see a light bar. Not really interested in the parking lot. This is the plaza over here. You gotta read the signs. See if there's any restricted access to anywhere. Blue Water Bridge entrance, Michigan Department of Transportation, U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. So that's their offices. Another barricade here. Uh, celebrates 100 years. We got a public official. Good, thank you. We got 100 years of history making transportation innovations inspired by the dedicated employees of the Michigan Department of Transportation. Uh, 1905 to 2005. It's been another 15 years. If you have any of the following COVID systems, nope. COVID-19, by entering this building, I affirm that the following statements are true. I do not have any of the following newly developed COVID related symptoms. Now, if not tested positive, I'm fully vaccinated. Uh, I never had COVID. You are approved to enter this facility. If you have symptoms, if you have symptoms, so that's all COVID related. I don't have any symptoms. All visitors and deliveries will require an escort until, until further notice. Explosive firearms and weapons are prohibited. All right, I don't have any dangerous things. Welcome, not required. Good, because I forgot mine in the van. Please press button. I'm not. I'm not gonna call nobody. All persons entering this area other than federal and uniform state and local law enforcement personnel and aircraft passengers and crew must display an airport identification badge with an approved Department of Homeland Security seal. And if I'm entering this area, I must display an airport identification badge. And we're gonna call the Customs and Border Patrol about that. I can only enter if I'm uh, coming off a plane. Area under video surveillance, hi, hi, hi. Hi, there's one, two, three, four cameras right there. I'm not going in there. I don't have no no interest in dealing with them. No! Matter of fact, uh, give me your name. Can I help you? Give me your name. No. All right, well, then you can't help me, can you? Thanks a lot for being a public servant. 
I was reading all the public notices. I don't want to go in there. I didn't ask for you. And you're not going to identify yourself? You asked if I can help. Hey, the federal uh, ID transparency says you have to identify yourself. Are you a law enforcement agent? Are you a law enforcement agent? Yeah, that's what I thought. Dumb. He said no. I got to report that to the Department of Justice now. Ridiculous. I didn't press that button on the intercom. He asked if he could help me. I want his name. He said no. He didn't, I, he didn't, he didn't tell me if he's law enforcement, but uh, it is the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. Federal law says state your name and ID. Make it visible. Now I have to go tell him that the Border Patrol at the International Crossing said they're not going to identify themselves. All right, that's uh, two interactions for the day. I had five or six yesterday, I don't... Hopefully we get a couple more on my way home, huh? Gotta make sure they're not following me. He said no. So he violated the law. Now I gotta report it to the Department of Justice so that the President can know that his agents aren't identifying themselves as such. Asked me if he could help me. <laughs> I mean, come on, what's that? See these cars like that? They look like. If you buy a car like that, you're. you're I mean, don't do that. You look like a cop. I wouldn't want to be affiliated with them if I were any of you. When you look like a cop, it smells like bacon. They don't like to be watched, you guys. They don't like to tell us who they are. They want you to answer questions. They'll take you to jail if you don't answer their questions. But they'll tell you they don't have to answer yours. So, equal protection under the law. Uh, doesn't make any sense that way. You support the law enforcement, you're going to support their duty to identify themselves as such. If you support their little shenanigans, you like the way they operate because you feel safer when they uh, arrest people for no reason, for not answering questions, when they don't answer questions, when they're required to, and I'm not. I'm telling you. Dude straight up said no. Dumb. I remember being stopped right there and the guy asked to search me. I said no and then he searched me anyway. It took five months and uh, I got a letter in the mail saying the case was dismissed because uh, he shouldn't have done what he did. But my family thought I was a criminal because of what they did. My, my, it's just, it's disgusting. It really is. They, um, they harmed me uh, in ways that I can't even articulate. So when they put their hands on me and I can articulate that they performed an in, injurious act, um, yeah, they messed up. They can't touch me. They have to identify and they can't touch me. I, I messed up. There was three or four other officers last night. I only got badge number 32 and badge number 30, 77 is the supervising lieutenant on, on, uh, on duty. Uh, I don't see no cops. Said he's not going to identify. We're going to find out how they act at the uh, station. They got a station in St. Clair where we went to the town hall. They have a, a border patrol station there, and that's on our list of things to do. But the Port Huron police are acting corrupt, and 
that's a priority right now. This is day three. I can't believe it. Anyway, I gotta go. Uh, Blue Water Transportation signing off. Transportation? <laughs> Blue Water Transparency signing off. Have a good day.